Hi, this is Ellen from the Chili Dog, and today I'm making a pair of fingerless mitts like these, and I'm at the point that I'm ready to add my thumb gusset, so I thought I'd show you how that's done. Just in case you've never heard the term before, the thumb gusset is just this little triangular area right in here where you're increasing stitches to, that will wrap around your thumb and then later you'll knit your thumb onto the top of your mitten. So to do this increase, I like to use a raised increase or a make one increase. So as you're working your mitten, you'll knit across to wherever your thumb gusset is placed. And the first make one that you'll do, the first increase is called an M1L or a make one left because the increase stitches slant here to the left. Then you would knit your stitches across the thumb and then on the other side you're going to do an M1R or a make one right and that's because the stitches will slant to the right. So let me show you how that's done. I have the cuff of my mitt here and I've worked in my pattern across to where my thumb gusset is going to go and I just have stitch markers here showing where the thumb gusset is placed. So first I'm going to slip this stitch marker over. And whenever you do a raised increase or a make one increase, all you're doing is finding the horizontal strand that's between your needles. You're going to lift that strand by inserting your left needle under it and then you're going to knit in the strand and twist it. The trick is remembering whether you should lift the strand from front to back or back to front. So for an M1L, when my slant is going to go to the left, I always remember to insert my needle under the strand from the lead. So if you're slanting to the left, enter from the lead. I'm just going to lift up that strand and then to twist that strand when I knit it you knit into the opposite side so if I lift it from the front I'm going to knit into the back leg of that strand and then just knit across your thumb stitches and when you get to the other side of your gusset you want an increase that slants to the right, an M1R. And to remember that, I remember to lift the horizontal strand that when I want it to slant to the right, I enter from the rear. So I'm just going to put my needle under the strand from the back to the front. And then to twist the strand, you knit into the opposite side. So since I came in from the back, I'm going to knit into the front and that twists the strand. And your pattern will tell you how often you need to increase. So for the pattern I'm working, I actually do an increase round just like I did there. And then I work two rounds without any increases and then do another increase round. And just so I can show you the motion of the increases one more time, I've already worked those two rounds without any increases on a second cuff here. And now I'm ready to do my increase again. So I've knit all the way around to my stitch marker. I'm going to slip my stitch marker over. And first we're doing our M1L. So since it slants to the left, I want to come in from the lead. So I'm going to enter my knitting needle from front to back. And to twist that stitch, you knit into the opposite. So since I came in from the front, I'm going to knit into the back. And sometimes that can feel just a little bit tight, but don't worry about it. And then just knit across your remaining thumb stitches. And when you get to the other side, you need to do your M1R. And since it leans to the right, we're going to come in from the rear. So I'm just going to put my knitting needle under from back to front. 
and then to twist the stitch you twist you knit into the opposite leg so since I came in from the back I need to knit into the front leg of that stitch and then just continue on with your mitten and again your pattern will tell you how often you need to do your increases for your thumb gusset shaping so I hope you learn, liked learning how to do the M1L and M1R for the thumb gusset. I'll be back soon to show you how to continue on with your mitt and hold the stitches here as you continue working the top of your mitten. So until next time, happy knitting!